Welcome to another round of An Idiot Learns Tuning. If you've just tuned in, so far I've been working my way through learning filtering and setting things up properly. Um, and now I'm going to start moving on to actual PID tuning here. So I last left off trying out the very clean and clean filter presets and decided that I probably need to stick with the normal uh, preset. So I'm just going to put that back on and go from there and do everything else, all the rest of my tuning flights with that normal preset. So let me pop back over to those filter tuning settings and yes I'm back to that. So now it's time to start messing with some sliders here for PID tuning. So I'm going to kind of follow the basement tune process. Hopefully I've got it right. I'm trying to learn along the way. And so the first things I'm going to do are turn off a few things such as the feed forward. Sorry, I'm trying to look at my notes here. Feed forward, D min, or I guess that's this uh, dynamic dampening and drift wobble. So those three sliders I'm turning off. So that changed some of these numbers down to zero. And I'm going to start working on this dampening slider and work my way through that and start at 0.6, go to 0 0.8, 1 1.0, 1.2, maybe 1.4 to try a couple of those um, those different D, D gains. Yeah. So uh, let's save that and go fly. I'll fly a couple of those and then come back and check things out on the logs. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to be doing the basement tuning method. I'm not in my basement. Welcome to my neighborhood. Uh, as you may be able to tell, it's pretty small little area and uh, small little house. So I don't have a whole lot of room in my basement. I'm going to use my front yard here. And what that basement tuning method is, is just short little flight, doing some quick ticks around using roll and pitch. Uh, I'm actually going to do some quick uh, flips, rolls, and yaw spins too, to throw that in there. Um, just because I feel like it needs to be in there, but probably doesn't. Um, so look up the PID Toolbox Basement Tuning Method if you want to learn more on that. But that's what I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to start working on those D-gains. Okay, so that was a little scary using my full rates on that test. So I've gone and changed my rates down to uh, actual rates, a linear 300 degrees, and I'm going to try that all over again. There's no way I would do a five inch in my basement. So those are my tuning flights working on this damping slider here. And uh, I was using that basement tune method from PID Toolbox. And I 
definitely am glad that I did it outside and had that extra space and I would definitely recommend that. So without further ado, I want to get to looking at those logs. But first, I want to pull up this um, sheet from UAV Tech. Uh, feel free to read all of this, but basically what we're looking for is um, in the logs, I guess it's called step response, and I'm looking for basically this to happen, the line to go up right to one and then just kind of stay right there. Nothing extra on top, nothing down below and to get up there quick. Um, not exactly sure why what that all entails, but that's how I understand it. So that's what I'm going to look for. So I've got PID Toolbox, the program, up here. And things look a little bit different than Black Box Explorer, um, but that's okay. It's not, not too bad to get into here. So same as before, I've trimmed the logs and I just loaded up, actually loaded up those all of those logs um, and you can see they're all in here. So now that I've got those in, I want to go to this step response tool and I think I'm just going to select all of those and run it and see what comes out. Uh, let me actually blow that up a little bit and turn on the Y correction. I've heard that's a better way to do it. So I'm looking for this to come up and kind of stay around one there. So I think that green lines, uh, what do you say? If it's up above, then it's not enough damping. So I guess the D on green, yeah, it's too low and then up to the dark red there where I had the most D or dampening slider, the highest that was at 1.4. So it looks like green is no good. Um, that would have been the 0. 0.6 and I think I'd have to run it again to get rid of those. So I think I want to look at what's closest to this line around the one. And that looks like orange and red. So that would have been 0.8 and 1.0 on the sliders. So I'm going to reset this and select those two. So the red's probably not um yeah the red red it's probably not enough d gains and so that means 0.8 wasn't good but 1.0 was better um on pitch it maybe it looks like i need a little bit more d gains there um, I think I'll be able to address the differences further down the line in beta flight with this pitch dampening slider. So that can uh, kind of adjust things there. Um, back into this graph here. I do want to look at the 1.2 on pitch. So let's go to that and that and run and actually here that brown or maroon whatever color that is looks to be the best on the pitch axis so I'm kind of confused on where to go, which one to go with. Um, but let me think. I'd probably rather have a little more damping. 
Let me look at this, see if how that says. Increases dampening on the pitch axis only. Okay, so let me go back. So if I can increase damping on pitch axis later, then I probably don't want that to be up. I would rather set roll first. Okay, finally, something makes a little bit of sense. So that would be this red line. That red line, I believe, is strictly the 1.0. Yep. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and set damping back to 1.0, which is the default. I guess that decides my um, damping or degains. The next step is going to be to adjust the master multiplier and get some tuning flights on that. So look forward to that.